Hi Libra, this is your September monthly tarot reading. I do multiple spreads per reading. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this month. We have death, we have the three of ones clarified by the chariot, then we have the will of fortune and the ten of cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Cancer. So I was a bit concerned when I saw the death card <laughs> that came out, but it's the first card, so you shouldn't really be worried about it. Actually, I think this is a positive card in this case. So death is either a Scorpio you're dealing with or your life is about to go through a very major transformation, a major shift. And actually I see that in the other cards. Um, it's possible that um, some kind of a relationship or a marriage came to an end recently and uh, you just started looking into the future. You're looking, you started looking forward to what happens next. Or this new person, whoever comes towards you this month in September, will drastically, dramatically change your life for the better. So the three of ones clarified by the chariot, this is either uh, cancer you're dealing with or you have made changes in your life or this new person is going to change your life so dramatically as I've already said a hundred times right that it will shift your life in a way that you'll be like you know what screw it I'm moving forward with this person it almost feels like the uh, fool card energy with the fool card you're taking the leap of faith and you're just leaving old beliefs behind you're giving it a shot. And that's exactly what I see here with the three of ones clarified by the chariot together with the will of fortune. Both the chariot and the will of fortune are about starting a new cycle and moving forward really, really quickly. Most likely with this new person. Perhaps the two of you will hit it off so fast you'll feel like you belong together or you've spent uh, countless lifetimes together. You'll feel like you've known this person for ever since since the uh, beginning of time and we have the ten of cups on the bottom of the deck this card is one of the best cards when it comes to a uh, very emotionally fulfilling abund abandoned abundant <laughs> uh, relationship very happy relationships marriages and committed relationships see we've got a couple of adults there and uh, a couple of kids jumping around so this is what you're moving towards really really fast like I said the uh, chariot with the will of fortune it's all about starting a new cycle and moving forward really really quickly so this looks really good like I said your life is about to shift it's about to undergo a major transformation for the better and you're moving forward with this person who comes into your life in September really really fast Libra, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this new person, and we'll get you an advice. I do extensions for new love only, because that's what people are interested in the most. Libra, if you are already in a relationship or if you are married, this spread is for you. We've got the Tea of Cups, the Sun, and the Wheel of Fortune. This is a great, great spread. I didn't even need to uh, pull any additional cards for you. So the Two of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love. To me personally, this card represents two people are, are on the same page or and <laughs> the feelings are mutual. We have the Sun here. The Sun is the happiest card in the deck. So you're just feeling really, really happy together with your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your significant other. And the Wheel of Fortune is all about moving forward. Perhaps you're just starting this uh, relationship and this is a new cycle that's starting for you and this person. Um, you could be um, going on a trip together with this person because the Wheel of Fortune could be all about, uh, you know, traveling. And the Sun could represent happiness or this is someplace really warm. You're just chilling somewhere on the beach with your soulmate because the Tea of Cups could also represent the soulmate. Right? You could be saying I love you for the first time to each other and that will spark this new cycle and uh, just really huge happiness. So yeah, you are enjoying your life and uh, you're in love 
and uh, you're moving forward together. This is a great, and a great, great spread, Libra. I'm happy for you. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Libra, this month. It could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or maybe a couple of years ago. We don't know. So we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or you could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, another Libra, or Aquarius. So what's symbolic here is we have a Queen and a King. It's a couple. It's an off-suited couple, but it is a couple nevertheless, and it's on the uh, king and the queen level. That means that the two of you uh, vibe uh, on a very similar or the same frequency. Yes, you do have your differences. You like to be independent and do your own thing, but you still find uh, ways to come together or come back <laughs> together in this case. Right? So you can... Um, change the roles as you wish because you could be assuming the energy of the Queen of Pentacles or you could be the King of Swords like you are male or female absolutely doesn't matter what matters is that we do have uh, you on the same frequency as the King and the Queen right so this person wants to come back around with this Wheel of Fortune and uh, restart the cycle what do they want with you they want this Ten of Cups the Ten of Cups is all about uh, a very happy and uh, emotionally fulfilled relationship. Ten of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to relationships. So um, I didn't even want to pull any additional cards because, uh, yeah, this looks amazing. Um, whoever comes forward with the offer um, will express their love, will express uh, their feelings. And I'm pretty sure that the offer to get back together will be gladly accepted. I don't see any rejection cards. I just see, I don't even see any offers here. I only see the situation, right? The post factum. Something that has already happened, right? This is after the, uh, the offer was made to get back together. And this is what happens right after it. That's the way I can interpret this spread. The Wheel of Fortune is a new cycle. Ten of Cups is a very happy relationship or even marriage at some point down the road. And we got a couple. So enough said. This is a very straightforward and a happy spread. And uh, I'm happy for you, Libra. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Libra, this month. We've got the Seven of Wands, the Four of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Chariot, and we have the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or you could be dealing with a Cancer. So it's going to be a very, very dynamic month for you. I see in this spread more than one event. It's possible that uh, you will get into some kind of a fight or you will have to fight for something and I think you will win, but it will be a bittersweet win for you. That's the Five of Swords right there in the bottom of the deck. The Five of Swords is the type of victory where you have to meet, uh, use all means necessary to win. So there could be a lot of collateral damage. here, But uh, the main idea is that you're going to be the one you know, standing on top. That's what I see in both the Five of Swords and the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands represents someone who's got the upper ground and who is able to successfully defend what they believe is theirs or successfully uh, fight off some kind of an invasion. Or if somebody tries to get your position at work, uh, then you'll be able to defend it, right? And then we also have uh, the Four of Swords clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. So this could be some kind of an offer coming towards you, a financial offer, an offer to start a new business adventure, or an offer to start a new job. And you'll have to think about it, Libra. Yeah, and I know how you like to take your time <laughs> to weigh all pros and cons, and I'm saying it with love. Of course, this is one of your fortes. That's the way I see it. And uh, you're going to think about it real hard really hard but then we have the chariot here this is you making a decision about it whatever it is and you're moving forward really quickly once you've made the decision that's it it'll take off like a rocket you could be going on a business trip here with this chariot card you could be um, 
purchasing a vehicle with this or you could be selling a vehicle um, something along those lines but I think it will eventually uh, pay off it will be beneficial to you because the Knight of Pentacles is a very solid and grounded offer it's a big offer somebody thought this offer through alright so yeah it's gonna be an eventful month for you but I think uh, you'll be able to defend what's yours and if you have to win if you have to fight for something you'll use all means necessary to get it done Let's talk about an advice or a word of wisdom for you, Libra, for the entire month of September. We have the Three of Swords clarified by the Three of Wands. We have the Page of Cups clarified by the Three of Pentacles. And we have the Ace of Swords clarified by the Two of Pentacles. That kind of reminds me of the first spread we did, the New Love spread. So we had Death in there, but I think Death is replaced by the Three of Swords here, right? So something could be ending some kind of a relationship could be ending but uh, I don't think you're gonna be uh, really sad about it or this is the advice for you not to be really sad about it and instead look forward into the future look forward to new relationships new connections and I think like I said a new connection will come your way at some point in September with this page of cups and the page of cups is clarified by the three of pentacles this is an offer to start something new start a new relationship and a very serious relationship right because the three of pentacles in this case represents a very solid foundation you will be building together this new relationship from the ground up right and then we have the ace of swords clarified by the two of pentacles so if you're think if you're hesitating if you are if you have your doubts, then leave your doubts behind with the Ace of Swords. Just cut out of that uh, energy, that space. Move forward. And I think you will move forward with all those um, very fast moving forward cards that we saw in the first spread. Right? So the advice basically is uh, if you're ending something, then recover quickly and uh, move forward. And if somebody new comes along, and most likely someone new will come along, then uh, don't hesitate and uh, just get into it and start building from the ground up because it does have a great potential. All right, so this is your advice. Libra, other than that, have a great month. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.